Moving on to our other big story tonight, President Pratibha Patil has rejected the clemency petitions of three killers of Rajiv Gandhi, whose death sentences were confirmed by the Supreme Court way back in 2000. The apex court had sentenced members of the LTTE but had commuted Nalini's sentence to life. Just last month, the Home Ministry had also recommended to the President that the mercy petition of Parliament attack accused Afzal Guru should also be rejected and that he should be hanged. The BJP has demanded that a decision be taken quickly and that the government's delay in the matter only makes India a soft state in the fight against terror. But is the death penalty really an effective tool in fighting terrorists? That's our first debate tonight. We're asking whether the death penalty is an effective tool in the war on terror. While uh, joining me on the program tonight, Congress spokesperson Renuka Chaudhary from the BJP, spokesperson Nirmala Sitharaman, the former Attorney General of India, Mr. Ashok Desai, and uh, we're joined by uh, veteran editor Kumar Ketkar from Mumbai. Uh, let me first ask uh, Renuka Chaudhary that, you know, it, it took the Home Ministry a pretty long time, five years, uh, to decide on uh, Afzal Guru's petition in particular. But what are your views on, on, on the death penalty in sel uh, itself and whether you really think that uh, this can be a deterrent in fighting terrorism. Do you believe it can? Well, you know, it's all very well to be politically correct and say that uh, we will walk the border right, and we will uh, to, uh, try uh, not to look at the death. Mr. Ketkar, because I don't think we can hear uh, Renuka Chaudhary. Mr. Ketkar. It can be actually a deterrent on terrorism or for that matter any crime. And that is why uh, all of us know that all, almost all European countries, in fact, it is a condition in the European Union that there should be no capital punishment. And uh, they have abolished death penalty completely. So if all European countries feel that despite the experience of terrorism which they have had and all the kinds of crime that they have had, and they feel that the death punishment can be, you know, done away with. So I think there is no reason for capital punishment to be considered as a deterrent against crime or terrorism and terrorism's worst crime. So I, I personally feel that uh, a crime which actually is born out of certain social environment, certain social conditions, certain political conditions should be treated differently. One can of course uh, need not be sympathetic to all the criminals or terrorists, but that doesn't mean that death punishment should be awarded. But do you to either think, a terrorist or time, a criminal. Mr. Ketkar, the fact is that the law in India does still have capital punishment. So do you think that, you know, sitting on, on such petitions uh, for, for years on end, uh, it, it, you know, really delivers justice in the current system that we are under? No, no, no. Under law, yes, I mean, there can be death punishment rewarded. But the point is, you are asking me whether it can act as a deterrent. And I don't believe that it can act as a deterrent. There is no evidence to prove that the death punishment has actually prevented crime from taking place or prevented any terrorist actions to be happening. So the question is whether death punishment is a deterrent or not. I think it is not. Renuka Chaudhary, we can finally uh, hear you. Sorry about that. Uh, so what were you saying, your views on this? No, I think we should just continue with the death uh, penal penalty till we have studies and records and research to show us that something else works as a deterrent. Today, under these circumstances, this is the only thing that we have. And I think we continue with that. And it would also help uh, the terrorists to understand what it means to face death when uh, lots of innocent people, women, children, and everyone die not knowing why. NDTV's Cricket app. Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard. Special analysis. And much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.